Hey y'all, so this is me officially throwing in my hat in the 2019 tomato challenge. And I'm doing it, believe it or not, with this poor fella right here. It's really sad looking. Hey y'all, it's Crystal and Roscoe. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified the next time I post a video. We thank you. Hey y'all, welcome to Back to Basics with Crystal. So you saw me bring this guy home yesterday. He was in such sad shape yesterday, but look at it today. Now it was extremely, extremely dry when I bought it and I asked and was given a little bit of a discount because it was in such bad shape. But with some soaking it in water for about three hours and a nice deep water, I was able to bring it back. And here it is today. And this is the plant that I am entering in to the tomato challenge. Now, just to give you a little bit of background about this challenge, it's a challenge that started last year between Gary with the Rusted Gardener, Jess with Roots and Refuge uh, Farm, and Callie Kim. They, uh, between them, they decided to challenge each other who could grow the biggest beefsteak tomato. This year, they opened it up to everybody. So you have those three in one category and then everybody else in category two. Now the challenge goes 100 days after you do your transplant or you drop the seed into the ground, uh, you have to weigh out and see what your biggest fruit is. Now it is a red beef steak challenge. Group two, which is the group that I'm in, um, gets to use any large tomato they want. Well, I had heard about the challenge after I dropped all of my seeds for this year, which is why I had to go buy something. So I looked everywhere and I could not find a beef steak tomato. I just so happened to come across this guy at Tractor Supply when I went to buy feed yesterday. And now it is a Cherokee purple. Here's the label. It's a Cherokee purple and it is a beef steak variety. So it kind of does fit into the whole challenge. Now this is just a bragging rights challenge and I just thought it would be a lot of fun um, to have one tomato that we have some fun with this year. So this is my official entry. I'm about to drop it into the ground, but I did notice that it has several suckers on it. So I thought another really fun way to show you guys how to utilize these suckers to make plants. Now this plant cost me $6. I was looking for one a little bit smaller, but well, here we are. So I thought if I could get at least three of the suckers off and get them rooted, then this plant then only cost about $2, right? So first things first. So we have lots of little suckers here. So what I'm gonna do, it, and it had some bottom leaves, but the bottom leaves were really, really bad, so I pulled them off last night. Wasn't even gonna bother watering those. So the little suckers, they just come right off, just like that. Now I can replant this, but I'm not going to. There it goes. Okay, so we, I did a video last year and I will post it above and I'll show you how, you know, it goes into kind of how I prune a tomato. But we're going to, um, we're just going to talk about it really quick. So tomato plants, 
uh, in case you don't know, they have, and this is an indeterminate variety. If you have a determinate variety, don't prune the suckers off. Um, this is an indeterminate variety. It will continue to grow until frost. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find the main, the main branch here. This is the main branch and everything in the armpits is a sucker. You want to take it off. Okay. So we have the main branch. So we're going to come over here. I don't know how well you guys can tell. So we have the main branch and then you see where there was a leaf set right here. Get rid of that. Okay. So where there was a leaf set right here, I went ahead and took it off last night, but here is a sucker. Let's take that off. So we're kind of in a unique position right here, okay? Hopefully you guys can see this and it's not too confusing. So we're in a unique position where this plant was planted deep and there's a sucker coming from the roots. We're gonna pull that out. Hopefully, we're gonna break it off. Hopefully we get some roots on it. I'm gonna put it down real quick. Come on. Boom. I got roots. Awesome. This is another plant right here. Okay. So what had probably happened in the nursery when it started out its little life like this, they went ahead and planted it and they planted it pretty deep. This is what I'm assuming. They planted it pretty deep. Well, can you see here's a leaf right here? You see that right there? You see that? That's a little sucker that's gonna grow out. So when they planted it really deep, all of the roots came out and this little sucker was able to grow and that's what we have right here. So now we're already cleaning this up. It looks much, much better at the bottom. We have one more sucker at the bottom and we're gonna take that off, done, okay? So now we have the main, the main branch right here and then we have a leaf and in the armpit of the branch and the leaf is the sucker and it's gone. Okay, so following up, here's another sucker. So you got main branch, leaf, armpit, and there's a sucker. We're gonna try to grow this one, it's a nice size. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a little bit of confusing here. So we have the main branch, okay? And you follow it, you can follow it with your finger. Main branch, main branch. And this is where a lot of people will get confused because these suckers are allowed to get big and it kind of branches off. See that split right there? It makes it kind of hard to tell where the, um, where the main branch is and what is the actual sucker. So this is the main, main right here, main, sorry, main, 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 main right here. This is the sucker, and that is gonna come off. Let me see if I can do it really gently. We don't wanna damage our plant. There we go. And there it is right there. We're planting this. Okay, so on a tomato plant, your, your uh, fruit is gonna come up on the stem itself. It won't come up in an armpit. Normally, you would leave the fruit on uh, because, you know, you want fruit, right? Well, because this plant is not in the ground yet, uh, and I want, once it goes into the ground, I really want this plant to concentrate on making a really good root system. So for now, this little guy has to go. Okay, now you wanna make sure uh, that you don't splinter off and, and make, you know, big rips. You want all of your cuts to be clean. And if you're unsure, or, you know, or a little nervous about it, you can take a pair of scissors and snip it off. I've got a little bit of experience on doing this. Okay, so there we are. We're down to one main branch, and this branch will, as, you know, it'll, it'll straighten itself out like that. So we see no more suckers, but look at this. I don't know if you can tell. Right there is some more fruit. You gotta be really careful when you're messing with the top because here's some fruit and here is the top that's gonna continue growing up. We don't wanna damage that, which gently pinch that off. And there it is right there. And look, 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 we've got a sucker there. You could let it get a little bit bigger if you want and then take it off um, or you can just really gently pinch it off really small things like this you can use fingernail clippers it works perfect for that so i have three 
really nice suckers that we're going to root. One luckily already has roots attached to it. This guy is now ready for the ground. Doesn't that look better? I mean, seriously, it, it looks much better. Um, the reason why on an indeterminate plant you want to uh, defoliate the bottom, you want plenty of airflow to, th to flow through, because uh, otherwise what can happen is you can get uh, blight, uh, fungus problems, different diseases. So we really want to keep everything clear so that you have free uh, air movement through here. Okay, so it's now it's time to plant this guy. Take it out of the container. And it doesn't have that many visible roots here. I'm sure it was replanted in the nursery. I'm gonna go ahead and plant it a little bit deeper, but I wanted to show you guys really quick. Now, if you don't know, tomatoes are wonderful at rerooting themselves. So if you accidentally break uh, one of your tomatoes off in the garden, you can literally put it back into the ground and it will continue to make roots and continue to grow. It will kind of wilt down on you and look really sad for a bit, but it's okay, trust me. I've done that. So looking at the, um, the stem here, on this one, since it's bigger, you see these little bumps here. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see these little bumps? They're all over here, the little bumps. I'm gonna spin this around. Look at this. It looks like almost like warts. And then as you go up the stem, you can see tiny little hairs. Every time you see uh, the hairs or the bumps, that's where potential roots are gonna come out of. Tomato plants are really, really cool that way. Um, and they're really the only thing that I know of that can reroot itself like that. Now, made and what I use, I use this, um, I think it's called a garden weasel. So let me get some of the dirt off of here so you guys can see. There's weasel on the side, so. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so this is a garden weasel. This is normally you um, use this to break up the ground, to take roots out. But I found that it's easy to make holes. And you just have to, you can come in here and just twist it around, loosen up that dirt, and then um, take your little shovel and, and pull the dirt out. So that was kind of the ingenious way I found to make holes. It's much easier, I think it is. I don't know, what about you, Logan? You think it's easier? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so here is the plant, and I am going to use every trick in the book, y'all, to get uh, the biggest tomato I can. And trick number one is gonna be from Jess from Roots and Refuge, and she puts an egg into every hole. I've never done that before, but I figure when in Rome, so we're gonna put it in there, and I think she says that she cracks it. So we're just gonna give it a tiny crack. And um, if you're wondering why she does this, some, uh, I guess one of her neighbors told her how to do it. So, protein. protein and calcium, huh? Okay, so that's cracked. The other thing that I like to put in here is gonna be some fish bone meal. Fish bone meal um, has a uh, NPK of I think it's uh, five for the nitrogen, uh, 13 on the uh, potass potassium, and zero on the, um, the potash. So, um, but it's gonna give, but it also more calcium. So we're gonna put that in there. Okay, ooh, stinky, 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 stinky. That's stinky. Okay, so now since this is not root bound at all, um, you know, it's got some roots to it, I'm not gonna worry about breaking it up, but. We're gonna stick it in there and you okay yeah. all right we're gonna start to push down the sides and we're just gonna fill in now this is my natural soil here don't worry I am amending it I do have some of my amended soil and um, I talked about that in another video. I literally paid like, I don't know, I think one bag was $1.60 and the other bag was $1.58. Um, and it's a cow manure and uh, pot topsoil I mixed together. It's, yes, my, my son's going, that's what stinks. Yes, it's very stinky out here. These plants really do like stinky stuff. Mm-hmm.
All right, so here we are. Yeah, as much as you can put in here to make those vegetables taste better. He's saying that the vegetables taste really good out of here. Okay, let's bring, oh my gosh, that's heavy. I had him fill it up for me. I forgot he is, he can lift a lot more than me. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to put a mic on this boy. You know, he says he doesn't want to be on camera, that he's not talkative, but he is just over here talking up a storm today. <laughs> All right. And like I said, tomatoes can be planted deep, so we're gonna plant this guy deep. Okay. I am gonna water this really, really well. You're just not gonna see me do it. Um, I'm not stabbing the roots, it's around and Okay, April 29th, 2019. This is my official entry into the tomato grow off. I think that's what it's called. No. Oh, we're gonna, uh, at the very end, he's asking, how are they gonna know? In the very end, we're gonna, everybody's supposed to make a video of them putting it on a digital scale. Good question, Logan. All right. Hey, Logan, we need some more hay. I don't know, good handful, put it down over there. One of my handfuls or Um, go ahead and do like a really good, your handfuls. Now it's really important to get your tomatoes, especially tomatoes, um, mulched in really, really well. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this leaf off. So why do we mulch it in really, really well? Because you don't want anything in the soil to splash back up when you water it or it rains. Uh, you, want it, uh, you want the plant protected from fungus and viral things that live in the soil so it's really 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 super important to get it mulched down really really well and like I said uh, next step is to water this very very well you're not gonna see me do it because it'll be part of our nighttime water but that's what we're gonna do next well next we got to plant some more squash but after that we'll do our nighttime water so that's it my official entry into the competition we're gonna see if we can grow the biggest uh, beef steak type tomato. Last year I grew one that was a pound and a half. Okay, so second part of this really fun experiment is to see how many of the suckers we can actually get to grow new plants for us. Meaning that this big plant is going to become super, super cheap instead of the $6 that I actually initially paid for it. Uh, so here we go. We have the first one here. And the first one, luckily for us, already has some roots on it. But luckily, again, it's got suckers. A sucker growing suckers. All right, let's see here. Okay, that's a sucker right there. Pull that off and there's the top of the plant right there. So we're going to just come in here and I'm gonna put everything in one pot. We're gonna come in here and dig out a small hole and we want to plant this thing deep. And we're gonna take out this bottom leaf right there. Okay, so there it is, it is planted. It is planted nice and deep in this pot and if ever if the conditions stay correct it will grow roots all the way up to the very top of that dirt and I will show you guys when the time comes probably in a couple of weeks we'll be repotting this up hopefully um, okay so the next one is this one right here this is our next biggest one and we're gonna dig a hole and we're gonna stick it in there. Okay, so in here it goes, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take off this leaf right here. And another thing that I noticed, we have got 
some, I don't know if you can tell, but we have got some um, flowers starting. So we don't want any of that because we want the plant to concentrate on putting roots out on this stem rather than growing out any flowers or fruit. So same concept, we just pull those right off and it goes right in here. And again, we're putting this in really deep. And if you're trying this out at home, let me tell you what's gonna happen. You're going to see these plants really just droop over and look so incredibly sad. Oh, it's gonna be bad. You're gonna think, for sure I've killed it. But it's just something that the plant does. It does go into a little bit of shock. You know, because literally you're ripping it from its mother plant. I mean, how would you feel, right? All right. Okay. So, do what? I know it's sad. <laughs> I don't want you. I'll take you. All right, let's try you too. Okay. So, the next one into the hole. And we're going to take this one off. And we're looking for any suckers or anything. I'm not seeing anything. We're going to plant it just like that. And you want to make sure that you've got good dirt to dirt connection. And you don't want to bury more than about 70% of the plant. Okay. And we've got some little bitty ones here. Why not? We've got them. Let's try it. So we're just going to put them in. Not too sure if the little ones will grow. If they do, that's really cool. And if not, it's okay too. Okay. So the next thing we do is we're going to make sure that we keep this really, really well watered. And how I'm going to ensure that this, this soil right here is super moist right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this in a container with water and I'm going to fill the container up to where the water is about to this level and I'm gonna let it wick up and that's how I'm gonna do that and just let it uh, instead of watering from the top I want to get the roots and everything from the bottom so that is it okay so that is really it for today I wanted to show you guys my newest little pet here and uh, show you how we're going to make suckers turn into big plants for later on in the season and enter in to the tomato grow off challenge so i will keep updating you guys on uh, this challenge and how we're doing i'm also going to be very curious to see how many pounds of fruit overall that this plant makes i'm really curious about that so that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something Definitely, if you're buying plants at the store, try to make new plants from the suckers. And until we talk again, you guys be blessed. Bye now. Sad. Thank you. <laughs> Take two. Making some really weird noise over there. He says he doesn't want to be on camera. But if he keeps making the, if he keeps making the noises, I'm going to put him on camera. <laughs> I don't know. She said do the whoa.